staffing shortages are not only hitting child care business wallets, but they're also the parents who uh, work full time but can't find a full time child care center. Our Adriana Alexander explains what decisions parents are making to adjust the recent shortage. If the daycare is closed, I can't work. I can't work. I can't pay my bills. Stephanie Tamaz and hundreds of other parents are being hit hard by staffing shortages at child care centers. President and CEO at Day Nursery, Cynthia Pearson, has about 600 children at her facility, but has had to cut back on classes because of the lack of staffing. We had to close four different classrooms. That was Miss Brenda's decision right here. We didn't have enough teachers. Because <laughs> we didn't have no, not enough staff um, to provide the care that we need to on a quality level. So, and this is Ginger that does our hiring, and she can tell you how difficult it is to get people to respond and come and um, just go to work. Because of staffing shortages, many child care businesses are having to cut back the amount of kids they bring in. This is causing parents to worry if their child will ever make it in. To avoid child care centers as a whole, Brandon Jackson's wife decided to become a stay-at-home mom for the sake of her children. Our kids don't understand completely. That's probably one of the hardest things. We're just spending a lot more time, as much time as we can with our kids. Uh, Spending time with them outside, uh, open areas like this, playgrounds. Tamaz, unfortunately, does not have that luxury and is trying to figure out the best financial option for her family. Me and my husband, we're fighting about me staying just to be a stay-at-home mom or work-at-home mom when those jobs are in short supply right now, you know. But even then, when you have to be a uh, work at home, you know, mom, you still have to have someone to take care of your kid because you have to you have to focus on what you're doing and no work in the background, you know, or noise in the background. So what are you supposed to do? As of now, staff shortages have not ended for child care businesses. The hope is that business owners will get the staff needed soon so everyone, including parents, can get back to work. Adriana Alexander, Fox West, Texas. Now, for those needing help with child care, Workforce Solutions of West Central Texas has child care services programs to support parents going back to work. There are special child care scholarships for those families working in the service industry.